Welcome to iLecture Online. Now that we've seen how to use the power method for a to the n power for small numbers, we also seen how to come up with the generalized equation for a specific matrix. Now let's come up with a generalized format for a general matrix. Any matrix that is two by two, how do we find a to the n? And so instead of using actual values for the p and the inverse of p matrix, we're going to use general values like this, just like we did for the generalized diagonal matrix or diagonalization matrix. So let's go ahead and do this and see what it looks like. So a to the n is equal to the p matrix times the diagonalized matrix to the n power times the inverse of the p matrix, which is equal to a11, a21, a22 multiplied times the diagonalization matrix to the n power. That's the eigenvalue of 1 to the n power. The diagonal and eigenvalue zeros the everywhere else. And then the inverse of the p matrix. And we use generalized numbers. Let's see what this looks like. All right, we're going to first multiply these two together and see what we get. a11 times this. a11 times lambda sub 1 to the n power plus 0. 0 plus this, that would be plus a12 lambda sub 2 to the n power. Coming down here is this times this, a21 times lambda sub 1 to the n power, and this here becomes plus a22 lambda sub 2 to the n power. And of course we still need to multiply it times this, b11, b12, b21 and b22. And notice what's really interesting is that we get all these four elements back in the proper place multiplied on the left column times lambda sub 1 and the right column times lambda sub 2. Remember that this was the eigenvector, the elements of the eigenvector corresponding to lambda 1, the eigenvalue 1, and these were the eigenvector elements uh, corresponding to this eigenvalue 2. So that's Kind of an interesting concept here and now of course this is the inverse of the p matrix now we're going to multiply this again and see what we get and i'm running a little bit out of room here written a little bit smaller so this is equal to now we're going to multiply this and this matrix together so we have b11 times this so plus this so we get a11 b11 times lambda sub 1 to the n power plus a12 b21 times lambda sub 2 to the n power. So that's the first upper left element. Now to get this element right here, we multiply these together. We get a11 b12 times lambda sub 1 to the n power and plus a12 b 2, 2 times lambda sub 2 to the n power. That's the upper right element. Now we do it again for the bottom two elements. So now we multiply this times this. We get a21 b11 times lambda sub 1 to the n power plus a22 b21 lambda sub 2 to the n power. Now we multiply these two together to get the last element. So we get a21, b12, lambda sub 1 to the n power, plus a22, b22, times lambda sub 2 to the n power. And that would be the generalized formula of an n by n matrix raised to the n power. Now, what are a11, a21, a12, and a22? Those are simply the elements of the eigenvectors of the matrix. And then b11, b21, b12, and b22 are simply the elements of the inverse of the p matrix, which is the matrix containing the eigenvectors. And so that would be what the generalized formula looks like. If you now want to calculate the a to the nth power, whatever n this happens to be, all you need to do is figure out what a11, a21, a12, and a22 are, and of course the corresponding elements of the inverse of that matrix. 
and that's how that's done.